Hello friends, today is August 6, 2020. It's Thursday today and welcome to my super duper friendly YouTube channel, Dear Francisco, where I am much willing and happy to give you advices, present you with options and alternatives, and uh, share with you my ideas, my talents, my experiences, and just to inspire you, my friends, with anything that truly matters in this life. So especially during these uh, trying and crying times. So here is the first ever uh, message sender whose message I received through Facebook Messenger. And the main thing I found that really matters in her message is her passion in life. So passion does matter in life. And here her message goes. Dear Francisco, mm, yeah, the name of my YouTube channel. My name is Susan, a single parent of two already married children, and I am from the Visayas. Oh, Visayas, right. Since I closed my fashion store due to the coronavirus pandemic, I've been doing online selling and at times I do live selling on Facebook, okay? I'm nearing the senior age, but everybody says I look much younger than my age. Wow. I got so interested and more so intrigued by your new YouTube channel entitled Dear Francisco. Yeah, rock and roll. Which I find real unique and truly valuable compared to other YouTube channels that I know. Oh, really? Maybe not really. Maybe a little slight. Thanks anyway, Susan. And to continue with her message, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've never really attended any of your preview seminars or webinars, but I have watched and listened to one of your short promotional seminar video clips. And I found you really very interesting and enjoyable to listen to. Someone that is so cool and full of value. Wow, Susan, thank you so much. I send you this message not to ask for any specific personal counseling or advice. At least for now, she said. But rather to get your suggestion on how I should remake or reopen my old and closed fashion store after this pandemic. It's timely as my online selling is not doing very well now compared to when I started it. I am too enthusiastic to reopen and maintain my physical fashion store because Francisco, it has always been my dream and my passion to operate and manage and own a fashion store and I love it. Mm, right on. My worry, however, is that people might have gotten used to online selling and online buying that they may perhaps wouldn't make efforts anymore to visit my store when I reopen. Mm, okay, that's a concern. I can understand. Please, dear Francisco, give me your idea or suggestion. Thank you and wish you a big success in your YouTube channel. Yeah, it's me, Susan. Oh well, thanks, 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 Susan from the Visayas, right? Not specifically though stated in your message, which part of the Visayas? Is it Central, Western, Eastern, Northern Visayas? Because I'm very familiar with the region. However, that's not uh, what it called. It's very important anymore. And I should really say thank you so much, Susan, for being the first uh, message sender to this YouTube channel of mine. Dear Francisco, thank you for what you have told me, Susan, and this is what I have to tell you. You are a great lady. Being a single parent of two already married children, nearing the senior age but look still stunningly young and beautiful, and being a resilient entrepreneur at that, especially during this pandemic season. Susan, you are great. 
and I am impressed. I recognize your passion is your fashion store. Oh, so there's a rhyme in there. Operate it, manage it, and own it, and make it successful. Right? So those are the components of your passion, burning desire. Right? I can feel your sentiment too for, for the closure of your store as many other fashion stores or non-essential stores for that matter during this pandemic. I can feel you, Susan. But look at you now. You managed to rebound and bounce back from your store closure to online selling. Although, as you have said, your sales from the online selling are slowly dwindling due to many online competitions. And that is very understandable. And this is always a reality of life, Susan. Competition is beyond our control. It is an uncontrollable factor of all types of businesses. That's why we should always continue to innovate and make a difference through our own creative ways. So, Thank you for approaching me because being a retail trainer and a retail owner, retail store owner myself, my suggestion because you asked for it is for you to maintain both your physical store and digital store. Also known as digital store, which is a combination of the physical and the digital concepts of your store. Why digital? So you can capture both customers who want to buy your products online, obviously for safety and uh, convenience reasons, and those customers who want to visit your store for the great shopping experience that you accord them. Consumers will not always want to buy online, and also they will not always want to buy in store. You know that, and I know that. And so again, my suggestion, go digital, right? And for your physical store, I suggest that you lessen your merchandise assortments and your product lines and focus on your best sellers, on your fast movers, and add more basic and essential items and products that are relevant with times. Also, reconceptualize the appearance of your store when you reopen make it visually attractive in the eyes of your store i mean in the eyes of your customers by putting some natural green elements and natural wooden elements yeah relay out your store fixtures and relay out your merchandise for that something new effect in your store because Customers of today and the future will be expecting a lot of difference now compared before. So maximize your walls with item displays. However, however, minimize your floors for customers' ease of mobility and convenience in navigating your selling floor. Because again, the customers of today and the customers of tomorrow, they want their life to be simple and easy and convenient. And they need to experience that when they are navigating your floor area. For your digital store, whether it's a website or a digital market, e-commerce, Facebook page, or as simple as Facebook posting or Facebook live selling, always maintain the quality of your online products because online shoppers with just one disappointment in your product or service then they will immediately move to the next digital store and you will not be able to regain them anymore also susan lessen your items being sold online because online shoppers easily get confused with so many things to look at in your digital pages. So for your online store, apply the principle of less is more, but quality is ensured at any given time. So Susan, that's my suggestion for you. I wish you all the best both on your physical store and digital store. Continue your passion for your fashion store and stay beautiful and healthy and always be happy. 
This is Francisco, your rockstar trainer and resource speaker and sometimes your counselor and advisor. Just wanting to help out people by way of sharing my knowledge and experiences and lessons learned in this thing called life. Yeah. So see you friends again in my next video in the same YouTube channel, Dear Francisco. All the best and God bless. Rag and roll.